Hey kids, have you ever wondered if there are other planets out there where we could live? Let's go on an adventure to find out. Buckle up, space explorers. To find planets we could live on, we need to understand the key ingredients that make a planet suitable for life. We need to know what makes a planet just right for life, much like the conditions we have here on Earth. Just like our Earth, a habitable planet needs a few important things to support life as we know it. First, it needs to be in a special place called the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone. That's like a cozy spot around a star where it's not too hot and not too cold. Just right for liquid water, like the water we drink every day. Water is super important for life. Without water, life as we know it wouldn't exist. We need water to drink to stay hydrated and healthy. Plants need water to grow and produce the oxygen we breathe. And even animals need water to survive and thrive in their environments. So, a habitable planet needs to have plenty of water, just like our amazing planet Earth, which is often called the blue planet because of its abundant water. Next, a habitable planet needs an atmosphere, which is crucial for maintaining life. An atmosphere is like a big protective blanket of air that surrounds a planet, keeping it safe and stable. It helps to keep the temperature just right and protects us from harmful things in space, like meteoroids and solar radiation. It's like wearing a cozy jacket on a chilly day, keeping us warm and comfortable. And guess what? The atmosphere also helps us breathe by providing the oxygen we need to live. Now, finding a habitable planet is like finding a rare treasure hidden in the vastness of space. Scientists use really powerful telescopes to search for planets that have these special ingredients, scanning the skies for potential new homes. These telescopes are like giant magnifying glasses that help us see far, far away in space, revealing distant worlds. They look for planets that are just the right size, not too big and not too small, to ensure they can support life. And they look for planets that are in the habitable zone around their stars, where conditions might be just right for life to exist. Our first stop on our space adventure takes us to a fascinating planet called Kepler-452b. It's a super cool planet that's often called Earth's cousin. Can you guess why? Well, let's dive into the details. It's because Kepler-452b is a lot like our planet Earth in many ways. It's almost like looking into a cosmic mirror. First of all, Kepler-452b is a rocky planet, just like Earth. This means it has a solid surface, which is quite different from the gas giants in our solar system. That means it has a solid surface where you could walk around, just like you walk on the ground here. Imagine hiking on an alien terrain. It's not a big ball of gas like some other planets we know. Unlike Jupiter or Saturn, which are mostly made of gas, Kepler-452b has a firm ground. And guess what? Kepler-452b is in the habitable zone of its star, just like Earth is in the habitable zone of our Sun. This zone is often called the Goldilocks zone, that means it's in the perfect spot where it's not too hot and not too cold, just right for liquid water. And liquid water is essential for life as we know it. And remember, water is super important for life. Without water, life as we know it wouldn't exist. Now, Kepler-452b is a little bit bigger than Earth. It's about 60% larger in diameter. It's like Earth's older brother or sister. Imagine having a sibling planet out there in the vast universe. But even though it's bigger, it's still pretty similar in size. This similarity makes scientists very curious about what it might be like there. And it orbits a star that's very similar to our sun. This star, called Kepler-452, is about 1.5 billion years older than our sun. Scientists think that Kepler-452b might have volcanoes, oceans, and maybe even continents just like Earth. Imagine the diverse landscapes it could have. Can you imagine that? volcanoes erupting, waves crashing on the shore, and vast lands to explore. It sounds like an amazing adventure. The possibilities are endless. But here's the thing, Kepler. 452b is really, really far away. It's not just a short trip across the galaxy. It's about 1,400 light years away from Earth. That's an incredibly vast distance. That's so far that it would take us millions of years to travel there with our current technology. We would need to invent new ways to travel faster than ever before. But even though we can't visit Kepler-452b right now, it's still so exciting to know that there are other planets out there that are similar to our own. It gives us hope for future exploration. It makes you wonder if there might be life on Kepler-452b, doesn't it? What kind of creatures could be living there? Maybe there are alien creatures swimming in its oceans or flying through its skies. 
the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered. Proxima Centauri B, our next door neighbor. Now let's blast off to another fascinating planet called Proxima Centauri B. This one's extra special because it's the closest known exoplanet to our solar system. It's like our next door neighbor in the vast neighborhood of space. Proxima Centauri B is just a hop, skip, and a jump away at only 4.24 light years from us. That might still sound far, but in space terms, it's practically around the corner. To give you an idea, our fastest spacecraft would still take thousands of years to reach it. But hey, it's closer than most. This planet is a bit bigger than Earth and orbits a star called Proxima Centauri, which is a red dwarf star. Red dwarfs are smaller and cooler than our sun, but they can still have planets orbiting them in the habitable zone. Scientists are still trying to figure out if Proxima Centauri b is a rocky planet like Earth or a gas giant like Jupiter. But one thing's for sure, it's a fascinating world that's captured the attention of astronomers everywhere. TRAPPIST-1d, a planet with seven siblings. Get ready for a cosmic family reunion as we journey to the TRAPPIST-1 system where we'll meet TRAPPIST-1d, one of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a single star. This system is a treasure trove for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. It's like a planetary party out there. Each planet has its own unique characteristics, making the TRAPPIST-1 system a fascinating place to explore. TRAPPIST-1d is part of this incredible system located about 40 light years away from Earth. That's relatively close in cosmic terms, making it an exciting target for future exploration. What makes this system so special is that all seven planets are rocky like Earth and three of them, including TRAPPIST-1d, orbit within the habitable zone. This zone is where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing not one, but three suns. This would create a spectacular view and unique environmental conditions. That's what it would be like from the surface of TRAPPIST-1d. The interplay of light and shadow would be unlike anything we experience on Earth. It orbits a red dwarf star much smaller and cooler than our sun, but it's still a sight to behold. Red dwarfs are known for their longevity, burning their fuel slowly over billions of years. Scientists believe that TRAPPIST-1d might have a surface temperature that could support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. This makes it a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. It's even possible that this planet has clouds, oceans, and maybe even continents just like Earth. These features could create a dynamic and potentially habitable environment. The TRAPPIST-1 system is like a giant laboratory for studying exoplanets. Each planet offers a unique opportunity to learn more about the formation and evolution of planetary systems. With seven planets so close together, scientists can compare and contrast their atmospheres, compositions, and potential for life. This comparative study is invaluable for understanding the diversity of planets in our galaxy. It's amazing to think that there could be other worlds out there with conditions similar to Earth. The TRAPPIST-1 system gives us hope that we might not be alone in the universe. Gliese 667 CC, a planet with three suns. Hold on tight, space explorers, because our final destination is Gliese 667 CC, a planet located in a triple star system. That's right, this planet has three suns. Talk about a spectacular sunrise and sunset. Gliese 667 cc is about 22 light years away from Earth and orbits a red dwarf star called Gliese 667 c. This star is part of a triple star system, which means it has two other companion stars that would be visible in the sky from the planet's surface. Now you might think having three suns would make Gliese 667 cc scorching hot, but it's actually located in the habitable zone of its star. That means it receives just the right amount of energy to potentially support liquid water on its surface. Scientists believe that Gliese 667 cc is a super-Earth, meaning it's bigger and more massive than Earth but smaller than a gas giant like Neptune. It's possible that this planet has a rocky surface, oceans, and even an atmosphere. Imagine the stunning views from Gliese 667 cc with three suns illuminating the sky. It would be like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's a real place out there in the vastness of space. Keep exploring! Wasn't that an amazing journey, kids? We traveled through space, learned about habitable planets, and discovered worlds that are both familiar and strange. Keep dreaming and exploring. Remember, there's so much more to learn about the universe, and it's up to curious explorers like you to keep asking questions and searching for answers. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.